So what exactly is a dry fly and a wet fly or a nymph and a streamer? I mean, you, you might have a box of flies and you might not know what they are. You might be in a fly shop and you're confused by these rows and rows and rows of flies. I'm gonna go through the, the basic types of flies to give you an idea of how to identify them and when you might use them. Let's start with a dry fly. You can usually tell if something is a dry fly because it, it usually looks kind of light and airy and uh, they often have what's called hackle, but uh, they float by being pinioned in the surface film. They're all heavier. They're all, most of them actually are uh, heavier than water, although uh, some flies tied with foam uh, will actually will actually float on their own, but they're mostly pinioned in the surface film, and they're pretty easy to identify. Uh, this parachute Adams is actually a, a classic, classic dry fly. You use these when the fish are rising, obviously when you see fish feeding on the surface, or if the water is relatively clear and you think there might be a chance that a fish might see your fly floating by. So. Pretty straightforward, that's a dry fly, and they come in all kinds of sizes from, from you know this big to teeny, teeny, tiny, and you use the right size and pattern based on the conditions or based on what your guide tells you. Next is nymphs, and nymphs imitate some sort of subsurface fly. It could be a worm, uh, it could be a, a nymph uh, or an immature stage of a mayfly or a stonefly or a caddisfly. It might look like a, a damselfly nymph. It might look like a little crayfish or some kind of grub, but they're, they're flies that you use underwater. And often they have a, a bead on the head of them. Often they have a, a brass or a tungsten bead which helps them sink and adds a little attraction. But you, when you look at them, they don't look like they're gonna float. They don't have that fuzzy look that a dry fly has. And they look, you know, they look like some kind of larva. So uh, that's a nymph. And you use nymphs uh, when, you know, when you don't see fish feeding on the surface. Fish do about 80% of their feeding underwater. So a lot of us rely on nymphs lots of the time. And again, they can be from, from quite large uh, to very tiny depending on the, the preference of the fish. And sometimes you just have to try different sizes and patterns and, and see what works. Now there's another kind of sinking fly, uh, which is a little bit more old fashioned that's still used a lot today. Uh, it's called a wet fly. And wet flies are usually, they don't have any added weight. They usually don't have any beads or anything. And so they don't sink quite as quickly as a nymph and you often swing wet flies in the current by casting them across and letting them, letting them swing in the current. They sometimes have wings, like this hare's ear fly is a very classic, old fashioned, it's hundreds of years old, still works today. That's one type of wet fly. And another type of wet fly is what's called a soft hackle. And they, they don't have, they have a fuzzy hackle up front, but they don't have wings. They don't have the matched wings that a wet fly has. And again, you use these when you don't see fish uh, feeding on the surface and you just swing them in the current and see if a fish takes them. The last type of fly that you, you'll encounter is a streamer fly. The streamer flies imitate uh, bait fish, they imitate crayfish, they imitate leeches. It's a, a larger food form that's gonna be swimming on its own usually. So they're actively retrieved through the water. And often you catch very large fish with these because bigger fish eat bigger food items. They can be as big as this, which is a, a double hooked uh, down and dirty, which imitates a, a large bait fish or a small trout. Trout do, do eat their young. They can be smaller to imitate a, a small sculpin or a small leech, but they're typically fish active in the water. You're stripping line and you're making this thing swim through the water. So how do I identify them? Well, they're usually fairly long and skinny and bigger than a nymph or a wet fly. Not every day is a good streamer day. Generally dark days, rainy days, the bigger fish are gonna be out prowling around looking for, for frogs or, or leeches or, or bait fish, bigger food items. So they don't work as well on sunny days, but you know, try a streamer anytime, you never know. So all of these different types of flies 
You never know what fly is gonna work and there is no magic fly. You gotta go out and you gotta experiment. You listen to your guide, you go online and you see what's been working or you just go out there and experiment and try different types. That's the fun of fly fishing is trying all these different types of flies.